Hi everyone, thank you for your patience. We're playing with a really fancy new thingy. <laughs> but I think we've got it now. So give us a thumbs up or say hello just to let us know that you're there if someone would. Okay? All right. Oh, it's not starting yet. Mm -hmm. Ready? Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you, guys. Welcome. Sorry we're uh, 11 minutes late, but we tried. Um, just a quick reminder, we still have some Santa bags for you. Here's Snowman, Rudolph. These are felt and Santa, and then of course the canvas bag. Cool. $4.99, I think they're still $4.99, right George? That is correct. Okay. Here we go. We have a lot to do today because we're talking about how to fix mistakes. So I have my notes, they're color coded of course, and we're going to show you how to fix your type so you don't lose those nasty dots sometimes on J's and I's and exclamation points. We're going to show how to replace parts of an image, uh, both color and one color. We're going to show you how to fix mirroring mistakes. We've all done that. And we're going to show you right now what we're gonna give away. We're gonna give away this heat press. And George, I was so excited when he said he wanted to give this heat press away today. This is a real cutie. It's a swing away. I think you'll like it. And all you have to do is like, comment, and share today. And you will be able to share today because we're on the main page. Could, could you repeat that again? Like, comment, and share. So then that will enter you into the drawing for the heat press. And George, we can't give away a heat press without giving away some vinyl. So you throw some vinyl in. Yes, okay? I will. I knew you would. Okay, and then we're going to announce the winner from last week, and we had hundreds and hundreds of people enter for that vinyl. Okay, let's go to the computer and start there. Just follow me over here with that fancy thingy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we're all plugged in. And first we're gonna talk about, uh, and you all know a lot of this already. So forgive me if some of this is very basic but we're going to talk about um, eyes and exclamation points. I don't want that cat block. I want that lowercase. All right, so here, I'll make this bigger so you can see it. So sometimes we lose these little dots from the eyes and the J's so we're going to come up here to the upper right and we're going to duplicate that. So now we have two, they're the same size. For this second one, let's say this, the first one is going to be, uh, we're gonna make that out of red vinyl. So the second one, we've duplicated and we are going to ungroup it. See up here in the right hand side, this ungroup. And that way we can drag these extra elements up. We just want to make sure we have enough of them, right? And then we can get rid of this. And when you go, if you went to print this now, if you went to cut this, I should say, where to go in to make it, you would have two mats because you have two different colors. So you want to make sure that you just have one color to print on one mat. So to do that, you would go into Color Sync. See, Color Sync is right up there below Make It. And that shows that you have two colors up there. You'll just move that red up there and that makes it one color. So there's your extra dots. Okay, we're gonna get rid of that. 
The next thing we're going to talk about are images. <clears throat> All right, let's get a color image. Let's see. There's a cute little dog in here. And say you, where is he? We'll just choose one. Um, all right, say it was this one. We're going to insert image, and you can see all these different layers and colored. Let's say that you lost, oh, the clouds. So these colors are in the layers panel. You're going to go up to these eyeballs and hide the colors that you don't want. We want the blue sky, so we're going to keep that. And that's going to give you what you want to reprint if you already messed up on it. All right, then another thing, say your image is not multicolor, but it's just one color, like this one, I love my family. Okay, we're going to insert this image. And uh, let's just get rid of this guy. All right. Let's say you've made this, you've cut this out, and you made the heart in pink, perhaps. Um, and you messed up on the pink. So the way to go back and just get your pink, just to get your heart, I'll make this bigger, is you select all and then go down to the lower right-hand corner where it says contour. And that takes you into this. And contour uh, removes cut lines and elements within a shape. So you want to keep that heart. So we're just going to highlight the letters we don't want. You can highlight them that way. Or on the slider bar, you can just go down and highlight them this way. And eventually, that will leave your heart. So once you've highlighted everything except your heart, that's you've deleted those things. You go back, there's your heart, and you just print it. Okay, easy peasy so far, right? Now we're going to get to mirroring. Mm -hmm. Sorry. All right, let's look at mirroring. Um, since we're talking about fixing things today, let's do some text. And we're gonna do the word fix. All right, oops, come on. Um, I wanna make it three inches tall. So to make it three inches tall, I can either go up here under height and put in there or you can drag it by this bar so we'll make it a little smaller all right now we're ready to print that right so we're going to go in to make it I mean we're ready to cut it not print it we're going to go in to make it and I get distracted so I'm gonna go ahead and continue. And I, because I'm distracted, I forget to mirror it. So you can see down here, we're gonna cut this puppy. I've already put my 
final day. And it's cutting my image the wrong way. By the way, ladies, here's the uh, cellulite, cellulite, celluloid that goes, the plastic thing that goes on top of your mat. Make sure you use that because um, it keeps dust off of it. Okay, we've done it. We look at this thing and we're like, oh no, I forgot to mirror. I've already taken it out. Here's what you do. You go back in. What I'm gonna do is just back out of here. I'm gonna cancel this cut. I'm gonna do it again, same size, same thing. Same, this is the same vinyl down here. But this time, I'm gonna mirror it. See this little mirror? I mirror everything now, just, just in case. All right, now it's mirrored. And I'm going to press continue. And we're going to load it, and yet it's going to cut over what already has been cut. And believe it or not, you're going to be able to use this. And probably many of you already know this, but I didn't. So I'm still kind of new at all this. I just thought it was interesting and thought I would share it. Now when I'm at home on my laptop, I take a screenshot of that up there because that's important, you wanna see that. Okay, we're gonna take this out and I'm gonna get my Tweety. This is a great one. George, we sell these, don't we? Yes, we do. All right, do you know how much they are? Uh, like $5.99, I believe. I love this thing. All right. So this is where the careful, whoops, I lost my F. Look back up here. We're gonna back out because I wanna see that image again, the mirrored image. So we're gonna pretend to make it again and mirror it. You want to have this, this in front of you because that's gonna become your pattern. All right, we're gonna to start to weed and this is gonna require some patience because remember we've already cut it twice all right now you can see this is the beginning of the f so because i've got that guide on my screen i can tell what has to be picked up and what doesn't. My hair's in my way. See, this baby's already been cut twice, so. Now I'm coming up on my eye take this out this comes so when did you find out when to do this uh, when I was trying to figure out how to use well, how we can correct mirroring because that happens to a lot of us and um, because this is vinyl you can just, it has adhesion on it. So you can just um, use the adhesion again, even though it's already been cut. I think you can see what I'm talking about. Here's the X revealing itself. See, this was the I, when, I mean the F when we forgot to mirror. Do you like to weed? You know, I do. It calms me down, but you know I never get anxious. <laughs> All right. Now, if George can get a picture of this, get it close enough, I think we can do it here. 
you can see that it was cut twice. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to show you, if you'll follow me over to the heat press, a couple of more things. That's too much walking. <laughs> I'll go slowly. Okay. All right. Um, I use a flour sack towel a lot to practice on. Here's the little dog I originally did that I was trying to find, but for some reason couldn't find. But let me show you how this works. So here's the word we just did, and you can tell that it's been cut in areas. But you don't have to use a um, parchment on top of there, but I do anyway. And this is our one, two, three flex. It only takes one, two, three seconds. And I think it's cold peel, although I usually warm peel it. What are you doing? I am cooling it off with the cooling block. And now I'm just taking it off. And you can see it's perfect. Even though you didn't mirror it and you weeded it twice, it's absolutely perfect. It melts to the fibers. It does. And you know that um, you want to be able to see your fibers through there. So after you adhere it, you want to do it again. See? Isn't that cool? It is, actually. <laughs> All right. Now here's a couple of more things. Oh, I have to get my notes. Stay right there. Okay, so we've ironed this on. Okay, now we're at the heat press and we showed you how this works. Now we're going to show you that say you don't want that on there at all. You take a piece of plain old printer paper, lay it over that vinyl And I think we have this set at 300. 300. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to leave this on for about 45 seconds. And what this paper is going to do is a miracle. <laughs> um, remember that we're giving this heat press away, and George is going to throw in some vinyl. And all you have to do is like, comment, and share on our video. How about this cookie? That cookie is for you if you're a good boy. <laughs> and if you don't mess up our videos. <laughs> all right, we're just about at 45 seconds. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, this hit presses at 275. Oh, yeah, it's low heat. All right. So should we, do you want it higher? Yeah. Let me see. Okay, let me, um, so I'm going to tell you that I, for right now, until this gets a little bit hotter, um, let's talk about who won our drawing from last week. Last week we did the scraps, the live on the scraps. We got more than 12,000 views. Thank you so much. And uh, we had hundreds and hundreds of people send the word picture and share. And there was one woman, of course, we had to choose one from all this, whose name is Tiffany Christmas. And she told me that her thing blew up because of the word Christmas, all the notifications. So that's going to go to Tiffany Christmas because she was very patient with us. So what did she win? She won all the vinyl that we used on that, on that Christmas tree that we did last mm -hmm. week. So she's going to be sending you her uh, address. 
Okay, let's try this again. We're at 309. We're gonna leave it on for maybe 45 seconds to a minute. You know, I think this is a pretty cute idea too. You can take mustaches and make a Christmas tree out of all different kinds, kind of similar to what we did last week. But just go into Google and pull up some mustaches and make a Christmas tree out of your scraps. And guys, I'd love to know what you would like for us to do a live on because it'd be fun and we can all learn together. All right. See, it pulls it up. Now, it would, if you do another, if you do this again, it'll ultimately pull up all of it, right? But I wanna show you, I promise you it pulls everything up. Oh yeah. So you can't see it, but there's the letters that it pulled up. And we can take it off, see how it came off. And if we did this again, it would, it would pull, it, pull it up. But I wanna show you, here's this little dog. And these are samples of our other vinyls. This is hologram pattern embossed no is that plain paper this is plain copy paper just that you would put in your copier that's a nice trick i didn't <laughs> even know about that thank you okay so i'm going to show you and this is a layered image so you're using regular paper to take out the vinyl yeah now there's another way to do it too because i'm going to show you how it doesn't work and then i'm going to show you another way all right again we're gonna leave this on for 15 seconds. And yeah, this is really, this is really a great thing. When you first do it, you think it didn't take it up, but it does. Now this works on our one, two, three flex. I don't think it works on the other vinyls I just showed you, but I will show you what does. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Maybe I'll get your cookie. No. Nope. Maybe it'll go to me. All right, that's about. Now, see it's not pulling those up, but look at this. It takes all of those layers up. Isn't that pretty amazing? That would come up too. So here's all the layers. They're all underneath this puppy. See? That's pretty cool. Here's the little red hat. Okay. Now. These vinyls did not come up that way, right? So let me show you. I love this heat press. Ooh, this is hot now. Here's an iron, and I have it on, well, it's supposed to be on. It's on. George, you might wanna come around this way if you can. Sure. All right, you just take your iron, turn it on your highest heat, like cotton. You want these things to get warm. And again, some of you may already know this, but this is how you take off our other vinyls. Because all you're doing is releasing the adhesion, right? Um, our print, our 
printed vinyls, they're a little tougher. I've noticed I've tried it with a couple of different ones. It's just because they're made out of a different vinyl. But you can get it all off. I'm not gonna take the time oops, to do it here because I wanna show you. That is pretty cool. Yeah, this is uh, our embossed. Be careful because I don't want you to burn yourself. <laughs> And anything that has um, stuff on it, like the print, the printed vinyl, or the glitter, takes a little longer. Makes more of a mess, but you get the general idea. But you could save the shirt. Yeah, you can mm -hmm. save for sure. What was the setting on the uh, iron? Um, good question. It was cotton. Uh, just put it on your highest setting, cotton or linen, depending, and no steam. Thanks for asking that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and here is our flock. Just peel. That was my daughter. Sorry about that. So see, it all comes off. So that's how to get rid of that mistake. All right, so um, just wrapping this up, we're gonna give this away. Please like, share, and comment, and you'll be entered for the drawing. And we will announce it next Tuesday at our live. And again, Tiffany Christmas, you won our drawing from last week. So congratulations. Thank you for putting up with all those hundreds of notifications. And if any, oh, one other thing I forgot to tell you about if you forget to mirror something, you've already cut it out. If you want to use it, some ways you can use it is to put it on, if it's appropriate, put it on the inside of a lampshade. Uh, do a selfie shirt out of it. So when you take your shelf selfie, it reads the correct way. Um, let's see, you can put it on the bottom of a clear plate or you can do something called a beast shirt and a beast shirt, you would put the mirrored letters or image or whatever on the inside of a cotton shirt and then say, for example, your husband put it on and he was working out, he sweated, that would reveal itself on the back if it was on the back of his shirt. So you can still kind of use these, but now you know how to really use them, even when you make a mirroring mistake. Anyway, I hope you all have enjoyed our live today. Make sure you enter for the drawing. Please comment, like, and share. And uh, let me know what you want us to do a live on, because we'd love to hear from you. We love you guys. Thank you so much.